Good morning, this is Bill Baruch uh, on October 4th, Tuesday, uh, with the uh, Grain Report for MF Global. Uh, yesterday, the corn uh, did see a little bit of bounce. If you were selling then uh, the 590 level, uh, you were very happy this morning with the market trading lower, uh, around 580. Seeing a slight consolidation there, as well as the uh, wheat, uh, which we expected to see a little bit of consolidation in that uh, and, and help hopefully uh, lead the way to bottoming out and um, a little bit of a rally here after such a huge sell off for the last month and a half or so. Uh, beans, no new news there. It's just really uh, new low, uh, putting and testing the new lows. Um, and this morning as well, the dollar is putting pressure on the grains. It has moved to 80.43 high overnight, uh, closing above 80 yesterday uh, and following through. Um, it's trading a little bit off the highs uh, as well. The uh, stock market last night uh, putting in lows, testing the early August lows down uh, at the 1070 level. Uh, seeing a little bit of a, of a bounce here through this morning uh, could lead to some more support in the, in the grains. Uh, what I like most this morning in the news is uh, the amount of money moving to the side out of the stocks and, and into cash. I think this is at such extreme levels uh, you can really see any momentum to the upside uh, follow through very easily into uh, the unemployment report on Friday. Uh, the weather this week uh, affecting the grains is actually supposed to be very good. One of the few uh, times we, we uh, are expecting consistent weather, um, but again, one of the few times. So does this stay consistent? Uh, it, it allows harvesting in the corn to continue uh, and, and uh, through there, uh, about 70s this week and, and through 60s, uh, sun, not too much rain expected. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, get the harvesting done, but uh, how much uh, support will that lead if, uh, if that continues to do well. Um, so if you want to discuss any of these markets a little more particularly, uh, including the grains or even the stocks, uh, please call me at one 790 4371 Remember, as always, uh, futures trading involves substantial risk. It is not suitable for everybody. Thanks.